listening audience and welcome to another tune kind at 12 frames per second my name is whirlwind mindset aka whirl and i am one of your players for today i am joined here today by the wonderful lovely talented best scheming buddy in the world please introduce yourself <laughs> uh, hi i'm uh if we're using full names i'm wis patchett also known as wis um and we've got a, a bit of an interesting story to tell today don't we Whirl? Oh, we have such an interesting thing about what's it going on this afternoon, evening, <laughs> whatever time it is for you when you listen to this. Um, so, 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 so. Um, Chris, why don't you tell us all who you're playing today? I am playing the Chaos Pumpkin, I suppose is the best way to put it. Psychopomp. And... We're kicking it off, and Psychopomp is, well, he is where he usually is, which is around about arm's reach from Gil. And uh, Gil's not heard from Psychopomp in a while. And this distresses the pumpkin somewhat. <laughs> and he's actually, like, we're going to open the scene, and he's following Gil down the street. Just sort of mindly chatting at him so it's mm, a bit like gal 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 your flies undone gal <sighs> and that's kind of all, all he's doing just over and over again <laughs> And it is at this moment that there is something odd going on. Because, Psychopomp, you feel something in your pocket. Which is weird, because you could swear you didn't have pockets. Mm. What the? Since when did I have pockets? Am I even wearing pants? <laughs> Are these pants? Or is this a dress? I'm not... I'm not sure. Okay. Uh, we'll we'll come back we'll come back to that. Let's let's look at this this pockets phenomenon first. That's odd. Um, okay, what is in my pocket? And he's gonna reach in and have a look. And you reach into your pocket and you pull out a black envelope that has your name on it, on the back, in fancy swirly letters that change colors with different colors of the rainbow. It's nice. Huh. That's. I don't think I've seen my name written down before. God, that's weird. Gil, can you see this? No, you can't see this. Okay. Um, okay. Why is there an envelope with my name on it? Weird. Okay. Um, and he's going to open it up. And the letter reads, You are invited to Mortal Night. Invitation issued by Prismatone. RSVP. Bring your own PJs. Snacks will be provided. <laughs> What the heck are PJs? Huh. That's and weird. As, as you read all the way to the end of this letter, something funky happens. Because uh, you are not where you were five seconds ago. <laughs> He's going to look up from the, the letter and, and look around and it's like, Wait. Wait. What the? This is not the street. Um, hey, um, Gil, buddy, where are you? Where the hell am I? Uh, roll me perception, Psychopomp. <laughs> Goody. What's his perception? Uh, never used his sheet before. <laughs> That's not too bad. 16? That's a 16. Okay. Where... Wherever you are, it's dark in here. Like, it's not just dark in here like there's no lights on. It's dark in here like everything is painted black or made of this really weird black stuff. But as you talk, like, colorful lines start going across it in, like, swoopy swirlies and shades of orange and um, yellow. Cool. Um, so that's funky. Um, and 
Uh, do you turn around? <laughs> yeah, well, he's he's looking around. He's, he's full of confusion at the moment. Yeah, so as you're looking around, wherever you are, it kind of looks like a living room. And then someone stands up and is like, Oh, awesome, you got the invitation. I think we're going to be able to make it. Hi. What? Um, hi? Hi. Um, and there is somebody standing across the room from you. <laughs> um, <sighs> she is a tall lady, uh, with inky black skin, three glowing white eyes, and a cloud of rainbow-colored hair that's just kind of been pulled into a high ponytail um, that seems to be held in, fr in place with some kind of crown. And she's like, Psychopomp, right? It's so cool to meet you! Welcome! I'm so glad you could make it! Um, thank you? Where's it? Where? What? Um, I'm gonna be real honest right here. What the crap just happened? Where the hell am I? And how did I get here? This is, this is weird. Um, she, she looks confused. And she's like, well, you got, you got the invitation. I just kind of assumed you brought yourself here. Is that, is that not what happened? Ma'am, I don't think I know how to do that. Uh, but I, I, you mean this thing? And he waves the letter around because he's still holding it in both hands. <laughs> you mean yeah. this? Yeah. Yeah, I sent it to you a couple weeks ago. Aha. Uh -huh. It bamfed into a pocket I didn't have, like, just now. Huh. And she kind of tilts her head, and the sort of magenta hue in her hair gets a little stronger. And there's sounds of, like, bubbles popping, and she's like, huh. Well, that's weird. Yeah. Um, okay, let's let's back it up. Psychopom, what was your name? Oh <laughs> right. And she kinda like does the sort of smack the side of your head with the palm of your hand gesture. Uh I'm Prismatone. Nice to meet you. Okay. Psychopomp, Prismatone. Prismatone, Psychopomp. Oh wait, 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 wait. And he looks back at the letters. Oh yep, yeah, your name's on here. Where have I heard that name before? Where have uh, I heard that before? My my cleric is your paladin's nemesis. Oh, the rainbow kid! Right! Yeah. 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 Uh, that's where I've heard that name uh, before. That's uh, my disaster of a son. <laughs> <laughs> a disaster? Can't be more of a disaster than Gil. <laughs> Uh, you'd be surprised. Uh, but that's a story for another time. Or, well, I guess we might end up watching tonight. Uh, right! Screen! And, uh, she walks over to a wall. Or, you assume there's a wall there. Because she sets her hand against it, and it doesn't go through. It's really <laughs> hard to tell any sense of space in here, because, like, there are objects and things. Like, there's a really big pile of pillows just kind of in the middle of the room. <laughs> and you can see those because they're all different colors. And, like, there's a table with snacks on it, which is pretty cool. And that's nice. Um, and you assume there's a wall somewhere because she sets her hand against it. And she's like, so what do you want to watch? I don't have any particular preferences towards adventures. What are you in the mood for? Something something heavier? Something more comical? I think I've got a couple horrors saved on here as well, but... Um... I don't actually have any context for that question. What? What? Huh? Uh, you, you, this just said mortal night. That's not particularly, um, descriptive, miss. Oh, right, 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 you're not in Pantheon yet, you don't know, Vance, and she's kind of like, you can roll insight on the goddess if you want. Sure, why the hell not? Uh, 
Yeah, okay, his insult's not great either. He's apparently rolling quite well at the moment. <laughs> yeah, well, you know, being in a new situation puts you on high alert. Mm. Um, she is excited to have you here, and she's cheerful, and she seems pretty friendly, actually. But you can tell she's also kind of something of a scatterbrain. Um, <laughs> okay, fair enough. Like, she... She is not going for the whole dignified goddess routine. She is fully admitting without saying it out loud to the fact that she is a ditz. <laughs> <laughs> oh, fantastic. She is forgetful as peck. And she just kind of, like, claps her hands together, which sends, like, a ripple of, uh, like, rainbow colors across the walls. And she's like, okay, 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 okay. So, basically, Mortal Knight, right? It's like movie night, but instead of watching movies, you watch cool things that your your favorite mortals do in the mortal world. People uh, world. Okay. Um, I'm gonna be honest, that's not how I expected gods to spend their time. Eh, you know, it's like once every couple weeks, months, time is vague. Anyway. Apparently. <laughs> It's just sort of a fun way to hang out. Because, like, you know, everybody's always so busy with work. Or, in my case, busy with... Yeah. Um, like, yeah. Lalu and Misfortune and Wish. They're always, you know, real busy because they're the big fancy ones. But um, I can I can get them to actually sit down for a little bit to, to watch. Uh, it started as just a thing with uh, me, me and Seb uh, and occasionally Nani. And then it's just kind of it's kind of spiraled from there, uh, and we just invite all sorts of people over. And you seem cool and like fun, so I was like, "Hey, why don't I invite him over?" And then oh. I did the thing. Okay. Um. Huh. I don't. I don't know how to feel about that. Um. You might want to roll inside on him. Like, I mean, I know what's <laughs> what Prisma turns inside is like, so it might be irrelevant. But you can roll it. Why not? Yeah, sure, I'll roll insight. Uh, that's a fucking plus 32. <laughs> you can hide anything if you tried. <laughs> you can hide nothing from the eyes of Rainbow Mamba. Oh, apparently not. He's really out of his element. He's confused. <laughs> He's, like, on edge. <laughs> he so, does not know what to do at all. And he's also... A little bit speechless, to be honest. Like, the amount of talking he's done is is not much compared to how he normally does. Yeah, he's usually something of a chatterbox. Mm-hmm. And he and hasn't actually moved from where he bamfed in. He's just sort of still floating there going, What the fuck? <laughs> what the fuck? What the fuck? What the fuck? <laughs> And Prisma Toad being, you know, herself, the mm. goddess of fucking characterization, she knows when people are feeling things, she kind of pauses for a minute and blinks and is like, oh, wait, sorry, this is probably overwhelming, huh? Not every day you get to kidnap by a goddess. <laughs> okay, my defense, it was not intended as a kidnapping. Uh, I've done that before. Usually with good intentions, but yeah, uh, sorry. <laughs> um, I got, I got, I got, I gotta ask: Is me being here gonna cause problems for him? Oh no, 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 no! Absolutely not. You sure? Positive. Okay. Well, I suppose it's not I mean, like he me being here, me just... not being here anyway. Huh? What? Huh? Sorry. What? Huh? And she has stopped, and she is looking at you. And uh, you you got to 17 on your insight last time, so I'm going to keep rolling with that. <laughs> um, she's kind of hard to read, because she doesn't really have much in the way of a face. It's literally just the eyes. Mm. But she, like, tilts her head. She looks a little worried. And she's like, wait, what do you mean? Huh? No, I, I, I didn't say anything. I, yeah, it's fine. You are getting the mom look, Psychopop. 
<laughs> he's just sort of he's tapping his, his index fingers together now. He's just like, no, everything's peachy, 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 and nectarine and apricot and what's some other stone fruit? Um, well, plums, plum, yeah, peach, apricot, nectarine, plum. It's a, it's a fruits it's fruit salad. It's fruit salad, ma'am. <laughs> you can just call me Prid. Okay. You don't have to be formal. Uh, okay. And you're a goddess though, is that not how this works? Uh, she kinda of waggles a hand in the air and she's just like well, didn't you hear what how I explained it to Gil? Uh no. No, I did not. I oh. was, um, not privy to that conversation. Huh. That's why I couldn't see you. I thought you were just hiding. Um. Oh, you know what? It might have been because of the garden and the statue. Oh, and the sigil they put in the mosaic work. That's my bad. I'm gonna... If, if Sammy finds that one, I'm gonna ask him politely, Hey, kiddo, could you do me a favor and uh, not do the thing and remove the sealy sigil thingy what's it mumbabber who's he what's it's magic thingy. Um, I mean, it's I not that her. much of a surprise, really. Gil keeps going into places I can't get into lately. Hmm. Hmm. That's a concerning statement. Is it? She shrugs. <laughs> he sort of, he doesn't have eyebrows, but like, one eye socket? I think they're socks. I don't know. He sort of does the, the raised eyebrow kind of expression um, at her. It's like, well, you said it. <laughs> oh, they did. You ever just say things and not know what's coming out of your mouth? Oh, yeah, anyway. all the time. Half the time the words come out of my mouth, I don't even know what they mean. <laughs> uh, yeah. Uh, welcome to being a deity. Anyway. Um, He's just or... sort of blinking at that. It's like, I'm so what? <laughs> Uh, but anyway, the thing I told thing I told Gil uh, in the garden when we were talking uh, is basically um, gods are just people. That's it. Like we, there are some of us who try and act all high up and fancy and high and mighty. Like, ah, oh, yes, hello, I am a dignified being of immortal light and prosperity and whatever else the fuck. <laughs> But <laughs> we're not just people, man. We're just people <laughs> with funky powers who live a fucking long time. Oh. Oh, okay. Well, I suppose you wouldn't be mad about us using your statue as a hat rack once, then. <laughs> nah. I mean, it. I mean, listen. Some of my statues are just covered in pigeon crap. So a hat rack. <laughs> that's. <laughs> Uh, that's honestly not the worst I've dealt with. Oh, well, that's... Oh, dear, that's unfortunate. <laughs> well, if you will have your statues outside, I mean, this one was in an attic, so it was dusty and spider webs and all that kind of crap, but, yeah, no, we... Oh, what did... We used it as a hat rack once. Oh, when... You know that game where you toss a ring onto a stick? Um, yeah, we, we, we threw, like, rings at... <laughs> At you, uh, like we have found a big hula hoop. That one went over your head real well. <laughs> oh, that sounds like fun. Yeah, it was good fun. Really good fun. And she kind of laughs and then says, "We can figure out what to watch in a minute. Come on, come sit down." And she like flops backward into the pile of pillows, which just kind of goes flump up around her and then falls down like. If you've played a hat in time, you know how when you jump out of the pillow pool, a bunch of pillows follow you? Yes! 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 I like that. Like, oh, awesome. Um, as Iker Pumps is going to finally move, he's going to sort of drift over to nearby the pile and just sort of looks at him and says, Um, uh, sorry, I'm just going to 
I can't. Why not? I... I sink through stuff. I can't. And then she blinks. And then she smiles. Or you think she smiles because the bottoms of her eyes crinkle up. And then she picks up a pillow and yeets it at you. (laughs) And it actually hits you. (laughs) (laughs) Oh, I really want to roll something for him. (laughs) I don't know what to do. Oh, dear. You have been wrapped with a pillow. <laughs> it's like, it's just not hard. It was just gently tossed at you. But yeah, it bumps against your face. <laughs> As the pillow falls off, his expression has gone from uh, a, a little, little tiny bit melancholy to... What? <laughs> what the heck? Deity plane, man. You can, you can touch things here. Really? I'm not gonna yeah. just fall through it. You're not. Y- you're sure. Absolutely. He's re- really doesn't look sure himself, but he very, very slowly lowers himself through the air into the pillow pile and just sort of very gently sits on them before sort of relaxing a little bit and just going poof. And he's now face down in cushions. <laughs> you are now surrounded by very soft, very colorful pillows. And <laughs> um, why don't you roll a perception really quick? Sure thing. What, what's Prince's perception? That's a plus fifteen. Jesus, why do I get you to roll anything? That's hilarious. <laughs> Thirty-five. That's um, funny. Wow, okay. Um, he's giggling, like, quite giddily. (laughs) And in a, (laughs) I cannot believe this is happening kind of way. (laughs) Uh, And he's just sort of started patting the the pillows a little bit. (laughs) He's very excited. (laughs) And Rizzotone is just still kind of plopped in the pile of pillows herself. And she, like, giggles a little bit as well as it. It's comfy, right? <laughs> he pushes himself up on his arms and like, I have never, never been totally corporeal before. This is so cool. <laughs> They're really soft. I like it. Oh, <laughs> uh, dang. I've, I, I, I've never sat on anything before. I always just fall through stuff normally. <laughs> like, yeah, I've seen the inside of the ground enough times, you know, I when I hit my limit. But, like, this this is cool. <laughs> yeah, this is what they get to, to get to do. They get to sit. Ah, oh, jeez, this is neat. This is so neat. <laughs> Man, I wish Gil was here. I'd throw a pillow at his head. <laughs> uh, and it gets stuck on his horns because they're really pointy and sharp. And, and then it'd be... Are these feathers? Are they have feathers in them, or that that weird fill fluff stuff? Feathers uh, make more mess. Feathers make more mess. Feather cushion. Feather cushion. Some of them are feathers, uh, I think. And she like looks through the pillow pile, and she's like, "No, wait, no, that one's that one's fluff. That one's foam. Uh, oh, this one's pillow. This one's feathers." Cool. And she just like picks up a purple cushion and is like, "Ta-da!" <laughs> That's even the right color. I could draw his face on it and just stick it on his head and just be <laughs> I'd be so silly. <laughs> oh goodness. That would be fun. Yeah. Yeah, it would be fun. And he his shoulders kinda droop a little bit more. What's the matter? Hmm? Oh nothing. No, I'm fine. Mm. I'm fine. Mm. What? I heard and you hum. Like, what? She tilts her head. <laughs> and she hums again. Why are you mm. humming aggressively at me? What? <laughs> what? Am I, not, am I not sitting right? I'm sorry. I don't have a butt, Prez. <laughs> No, you're 
doing fine. Sitting pretty. It's just... Hmm. I don't trust the words you just said. Wait. I'm not easy to lie to, Sai. Okay. I told you, I ha have... You, you can't, can't give me too much credit. Half the time, I, my mouth just opens and words come out. It's not... Don't don't look into it. Don't think about it too hard. Thinking too hard is dangerous. And she kind of laughs and says, "Uh, I'm made because somebody thinks too thought too hard about something. So yeah, I get it. Yeah. yeah that's like weird. you think too hard about you think too hard about putting a whole bunch of talk stuff into a teeny tiny little bottle of ink." And then you get it in your head that you're going to do the thing, and then you do the thing, and then a person comes out, and it's weird. That is not how I pictured gods being made. Huh. Well, strictly speaking, I wasn't a god to begin with. I was guardian spirit, kind of, kind of a monster, kind of, kind of just... I was made to protect the place, and then I made friends, and then one friend was like, Hey, I'm gonna tell a whole bunch of other people about you, and then now I'm here. <laughs> oh. Huh. Cool. Wow, good for you, I guess. Jeez. Getting to, you could be a god based on some people knowing your name, that must be neat. I mean, yeah, I think you're, I think you're, uh, you're, you're, Pet names. Uh, Gil? I think he's trying to do the same for you. It's pretty neat. Oh, yeah. You know what? He thinks he's really subtle. He thinks he's really subtle sometimes. He's taken to calling you as a little rainbow bird when he thinks he's being subtle. Ha <laughs> 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 uh, ha! Yeah, no, he's, he's subtle as a brick. <laughs> <laughs> subtle as a brick through a stained glass window. <laughs> Uh, yeah, 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 yeah. Not a sugar glass either, like the real stuff. Oh, and with the, mm, yeah, no. But, mm, yeah, no, he said, I, I overheard him saying something about, like, an altar? And that's, that's weird. Oh, I, what would you put on an altar? Like, eh. Mm -hmm. He shrugs and says, Mortals are weird. Yeah, but... <laughs> I guess so. Altars are nice. Altars are nice because you can like hear people talking to you, and they say things, and it's fun. I don't need any help with that. I can hear Gil just fine. Yeah, but like other people can talk to you, and that's neat. Mm, I mean, other people can talk to me too. It's not like I'm not literally there. Eh, true. Although, okay, forgive me if this is a personal question, but um. Gil mentioned you guys haven't been talking lately. Is is something up with that? Um, I'm not gonna make you roll for this because it seems like a superfluous action. Psychopomp winces when she asks that. Something is up with that. Right. Hmm. I don't... Uh, he's really uncomfortable. Mm. And she kind of sits up a little and sits crisscross applesauce and is like, well, you don't have to tell me anything you don't want to, obviously. I mean, I'm not going to zone of truth your ass or anything, but, like, you know, I, I might be able to help. I'm pretty good at helping people. I don't know. I, it's not for lack of trying here. Hmm? He can't... He can't hear me. Can't hear you? You've been talking to him this whole time? Yeah. Why would I stop? He's... Huh. Like... I, 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 that's not what I do. Like, I don't have anything to do other than talk. That's the only thing I can do, but he can't hear me. I mean, yeah, that used to be not that big a deal. He couldn't always hear me. He'd never sleep. But, like, 
he hasn't been able to hear me at all. At, like, for... <laughs> he hasn't been able to hear me for like a month. And I don't know what I'm doing wrong. Uh, no, I... I mean, when he mentioned it, he and I both kind of, like, he thought that you were mad at him, and I thought you might be, you know, scared of getting left behind because Gil's got a whole friend group now, and that can be kind of hard to deal with sometimes, but you've been talking to him this whole time and he hasn't heard you? That's concerning. Tiger Bomb winces again and kind of turns away from Prismatone a little bit. It's fiddling with his fingers. Mm -hmm. I'm not mad at him. But I can't even tell him that. I <laughs> keep telling people he thinks they're mad at him. Mm. And she scoots over a little bit. And Psychopomp, you are getting a hug. He sort of squeaks a little bit and goes really stiff. It's like, whoa, whoa, okay. I there are arms around me. This this is not uh, what are you doing? You are getting a hug because you are you are going through some shit and we're gonna help figure that out because that's worrying. Yeah, yeah, but what it, No, it it's fine. I mean it's okay, it's not fine and it sucks ass, but like it, yeah, this is this is not what I am accustomed to. You have your arms all the way around my torso and you're not going through me and it's so weird. Whoa, also yeah, like sense of touch sensation odd ah That seems to be a theme this week. Hey, look, it's been like a hundred years or some shit. I've been able to get my hands solid enough to, like, touch some stuff so I can move stuff and that kind of crap, but not my whole self. <laughs> and she kind of lets go and is like, well, you don't have to get a hug if you don't want one, but I found that some people think that it's helpful. Um, I mean, I guess it's maybe, but, like, I don't know you really. No. But a lot of the times people talk to people they don't know because they have the feeling they'll never see them again. I mean, I'd be cool with hanging out with you more, because, like I said, you're a cool dude, but... <laughs> uh, I, I... Thank you? I guess? Um... She shrugs. Sorry, I'm, I'm not, I'm not normally this much of a... Mm, rotten squash. <laughs> Eh, lots of new input. Lots of new input. Kinda... Also, where you, you never answer the where question. Where and you got your funky thing happening on the wall over there with the orange and stuff? What is that? Oh, right. Uh well, um hmm. It doesn't actually have a name. This is just my room. <laughs> yeah. This is magic god this... room. Uh, no, no, just my room. Uh, just my room. Uh, technically, technically we're in Euphony, but technically we're not. It's like there's a door and it goes to my room and What's this Euphony? is where I think. Uh, it's, uh, she kind of, she kind of gets like a fond smile on her face and she's just like, it's, uh, it's the place where I'm strongest, basically, uh, cause, you know, my few remaining followers, they, they all live there, and, uh, it's nice, and it's this, uh, city built inside three mountains, and I've got a temple at the middle, which is technically speaking where we are now, but not really. I uh, am just... so confused. There is no mountains anywhere near Toontown, as I can think of, that that's... That is way outside my limit. How the heck did you get me here? I don't know. I thought you got yourself here. Yeah, you are really overestimating how much power I've got. I can't even talk to my best friend, uh, let alone, you know, get within 
mountains. Yeah, because this is in, like, UPA territory, I think. UPA! Yeah. Holy crap! Holy crap! That is so far away! I, I... Oh, boy, this is so... This this does not match what's supposed to be a thing. I, I've never been this far away from him before. I mean, technically, you're actually not too far, and she, like, sort of snaps her fingers and the image on the screen, and you can see Gil walking down the street. Hey, is that live? Yep, yeah, live feed. He's sort of going to float over and look at it close. It's like, well, yeah, there he is. Didn't notice I was gone after all. Mm. Well, if he hasn't been able to hear you... We gotta do something about that. That's that's gotta be some kind of something. It's some kind of bullshit. That's what it is. It sucks. It never used to be this hard. It used to be so much easier. Well, what's changed? I don't know. Well, I mean, there's... back in the attic, it was just him and me, and it was fantastic. It was so good. We had all sorts of different random stuff to play with. So many different people we could pull pranks on. Like, the, the, the staff in the house, oh man, they got so sick of us. I mean, they never knew I was involved. They all blamed him. But, like, we had so much fun together. And then he left home and I, it, it, it's different. He's got all of these people that he plays with now. And I know he said he wasn't going to leave me behind, but sometimes it feels like he doesn't need me anymore. No. Who's to say it has anything to do with needing? I mean, we don't just keep people around because they're useful, or at least none of the best of us do. I mean, hell. <laughs> you think I keep Seb around because he's useful? I mean, he's he's my husband. He's basically my best friend. We're both really powerful. We don't really need each other, but we both hang around each other because we like each other and we care about each other. And, you know, sometimes that's enough. Sometimes all it is is just, hey... This is my person. This is a person who I like, who I love, who I care about, who I want to have be safe and have fun with and spend my time with. You don't think Gil feels like that about you? Because uh, I can tell you, buddy, I uh, I can see literally all emotions. It's kind of a thing. And she kind of gestures to her rainbow mess of hair, which has gotten even more messy after the flop in the pillow pile. Mm -hmm. And she's just like, I mean, I can tell you, buddy, he, he does. He really, really does. He really cares about you. Well, he's, like, he's your best friend and you're his. Yeah, but, like, if we're gonna, you know, compare you to your husband, I don't know who that is. But, like, it's a bit different when you can walk up to them and be like, Hi! And they can see you without even having to try. And they, you can be like, hi. And it's not, no big problem. I'm an accessory. I literally, apparently, except in certain circumstances, cannot get any way away from him, which I don't normally mind, but I just, I'm stuck watching. Can't do anything to help him. Can't do anything, I can't, it's not really the same as spending time with him because I may as well not be there. And, um... The kind of melancholy mood that he's sort of been trying his best to banish is uh, showing on his face a little bit more, obviously. Mm. And his gloved hands are clenching and unclenching ever so slightly. He's got other, and other people. He has a family. 
and all that stuff. Yeah, and you're part of that, you know. I mean, you were... Hmm. I don't actually know the kid all that well. He... Ugh, God. If I had not been in fucking whiteout prison, good God. Um, but, like, you were the first positive contact that kid had. You realize that, right? Yeah, I did get that impression. His parents are shit. Yeah, no, I I swear to God, one of these, or I swear to God, heh, I am a God. I swear to me, um, I'm going to have words with them one of these days because that's some bullshit. That is some high-key bullshit. That is some, that is just not what we go for in this house. Um, and it shouldn't be what they go for in that house. But anyway, like, you're the first positive contact he had. You you two have had a major influence on each other's personalities, like, Christ's sakes! And, um, she, like, laughs and runs her fingers through her hair, and, I mean, do you, do you know how much of a handprint you've left on that kid's soul? He sort of blinks, He's like, do you mean that literally or figuratively? What? Literally! Well, in a way. Anyway. Oh, gosh. It's like, it's, hmm. And she kind of, she walks over to the screen, and she kind of does that sort of, you know that thing where somebody will, like, rest their elbow in one hand and then put their hand up to their mouth like they're thinking really hard? Mm-hmm. And then she, like, gently pokes the screen. Um, and the sort of, it changes to almost look like heat vision, because everything around Gil turns pitch black and then you can see like him in a glowing rainbow outline of colors or not really rainbow a certain set color palette mm -mm. and at the middle there is you know a heart which you can assume to be his soul and she kind of like she looks at it it's like okay now how do i copy hang on uh projection no would that be it yeah i think it's projection and she, like, pokes, and zoop, she is now holding sort of a projected image of that heart. And she gestures to a couple different, like, not really marks, but different kinds of color on it. And she's like, you see that? All those? Those are your influence. Like, yeah, there's a lot of other stuff there, but you are incredibly present, and... He's had a mark on you, too. He like, sort of looks a little bit startled at the whole hot yoink <laughs> thing. Um, but then he sort of looks up at her and like, Well, quite frankly, I'm nothing without him. You know, so, like, I'd still be in that attic otherwise. I mean, he'd still be in that attic without you. What's your point? Maybe he would have broken out eventually. Eh. She shrugs. I mean, time isn't really my deal. Uh, possibilities, branching futures. That's all... Ugh, that's all her business. But, um... I can upstart. Um, but... I think I know exactly who you're talking about. Yeah, she's a bitch. Um, <laughs> no freaking kidding. She stabbed him through the heart. Yeah, and heart family always goes for the heart. She stabbed him, and he started falling apart. And 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 I couldn't do a damn thing. He hugs himself really, really tight. And he's shaking. I couldn't do a damn thing. He said that I was helpful, but damn it, I was not at all. They fixed it. They fixed it. And then, even when they got out, he kept, he kept doing it. He keeps doing it. And I still can't fix it. 
he has all of those people who can put him back together and I'm useless at that. I can't do a damn thing and I, uh, I just want to be able to be there for him and I can't. And she's quiet for a moment. She doesn't move to touch you because she doesn't know if that's okay. But she's just, she's quiet. She's like, I'm sorry. Sorry you've had to go through that. It's not easy to nearly lose a friend, especially a friend as close as you and Gil are to each other. I'm sorry that you've had to deal with him putting himself in danger over and over again. I'm sorry that it's made you feel useless. I don't know why it'd be worse if I wasn't there at all and he fell apart, or if I was and I couldn't stop it. That, uh, what's his name? That Arakakra. Bon, I think said something to him about what would happen if no one was around and you know what i was insulted that he would think that would they would think that i would not be near gil but you know what if gil decided to fall apart and i was the only one there what could would i be he doesn't need me he needs them all of those people And she is quiet for a moment as she puts sort of the projection, she turns it off and goes back to looking at the now blank screen and thinking. And she sighs and says, I think this might be why he can't hear you. Eh? Hmm. What, what do you mean? How do I explain? And she kind of she thinks and she like paces a little bit um and sort of like waves her fingers around and swirls of color follow her hand until she's like spinning swirls of rainbow smoke around her fingers and then she says how do i explain this psychopomp do you do you understand how hmm no that's not a good question hmm hmm do you know what characterization is, Psychopomp? Um... No? I don't think so. But I don't know a lot of things. So it's, uh, kind of uh, a bit roomy up here. And he knocks his fingers against the side of his pumpkin head. And that kind of puts a spark of a thought in Prismatone's head, and she just, like, shelves that for a couple minutes from now. <laughs> um... And she says, okay, so you're a toon in sort of the same way. I'm a toon. It's like, yes, you're another worldly being, but fundamentally you are a toon. And toons, we, we follow the rules of store. And one of those rules is characterization. I think you've been, because of the situation that the person you that your person keeps putting himself in, you have been struggling because you're dealing with a bit of a crisis of characterization. Um, it's like, characterization is the base writing of our personality. Like, I, I'm not much of an example. I don't have a set characterization. I'm fluid as the ink I came from. But like, hmm... What, how would you have described yourself when you first met Gil? What was that version of you like? He sort of thinks about it for a minute. It's like, well, quite frankly, I, I was just excited to have somebody to play with. And like it, it was so boring. 
without him and then he was there and everything was fantastic we just <laughs> keeping things not boring boring was garbage and fun we had so much fun and she smiles and she says oh, yeah you are you are a being whose core principle is fun and things haven't been very fun lately have they no. No, not really. I mean, I got to watch Kill do some really fun stuff like that, that, that whole thing. It, I, oh, wait, the Rainbow Kid was there, so you probably saw the, 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 the thing with the museum and the, the jewel <laughs> and, oh, dang, that was funny. That was funny. I... <laughs> Kill's always had a knack for doing stuff like that. It's just good. It's... Very good. Oh, that was a delight to watch. She smiles. Oh yeah, I got dragged through that. That was hilarious. <laughs> <laughs> but, you know, the thing about having a core principle like fun is that when things aren't fun, when you're not having fun, when you're worried and scared and stressed and upset, it can have a bad effect on you. It can make you weaker and more tired if you don't figure out how to deal with it. Um, and that's like not saying that, you know, there haven't been many, many reasons to be upset and scared and stressed out and worried and all the other negatives and she kind of the certain strands of her hair that are shades of like blue and green and uh red all sort of glow and light up um and she says but you your your whole thing right is or at least from what i can tell from talking to gil your whole thing is like fun pranks, good-natured scares, all that jazz. Yeah, that stuff's real good. I I enjoy that so much. Kill's always been a really good target. Changing into a cat, easiest way to get Gil. He's so scared of cats. <laughs> oh, uh, I get him with that every time. Eh? Oh, it's it's got a name. It's got a name, huh? Yeah. Yeah, there's a bunch of names for different phobias. Oh goodness. This is information I, that is interesting to me. <laughs> yeah, like Gil's got ilurophobia. There's arachnophobia for Marcel. Oh, I with the spi really not be spiders. He's afraid of spiders. <laughs> mm -hmm. <laughs> I mean, I thought that I thought that the tall fellow was gonna kick Gil's butt. <laughs> Oh, that no, oh, you wouldn't though. You wouldn't kick his butt. Not, not too hard. He likes him. <laughs> <laughs> oh dear. Uh, if Nani's taught me anything, it's that a little bit of friendly butt kicking is all well and good with family. <laughs> but where was I going with this? I had a point. And she just like looks down at her hands, and her fingers are like kind of pressed up against each other, and she's like had a point. What was I talking about? Um, Characterization, I think. Yeah. Oh, yeah, that. I think you've been dealing with stuff that your characterization, the very initial phase of it, wasn't meant for, wasn't meant to deal with. You were meant to be your, your characterization, what's holding you in this world... And she, like, gently taps the top of your head. Is that sense of fun. And there hasn't been... It's been in kind of short supply, huh? Oh, so that makes so much sense. That makes so much... <laughs> yeah, that makes sense. Gosh, she keeps going on about him being real, and I'm falling out of the dang world because I can't keep myself together. God... I oh, damn, I'm worse than he is, aren't I? 
Well, at least in your defense, you can't really help it. Well, you can help it, but you wouldn't know to help it, because... God, characterization sickness, man! People don't even realize they have it! Like, destabilization, okay, that's a thing that, like, you get fucking stabbed by a psycho bitch, and... Then you have to deal with, you know, reality not wanting you to be there. But characterization sickness? That's the shit that kills tunes. That's the shit that, you know, you run out of the stuff on your character, you run out of your sense of purpose, and... Poof! But we don't want you to go poof. Because we like you. Psychopomp actually looks a little frightened. And not in a fun way. Ah, sorry, that was morbid. Uh. What would happen to him if that happened to me? I mean. Uh, you know, I'm not sure. I'm. I can't imagine anything good just because of how much you two are tangled up in each other, fate wise. Or at least I assume fate wise. I don't. I don't do fate kid. I don't do... I don't do... the future. I, I am... That's my characterization. I'm a being of the now. I'm... I am here and now and whatever happens in a few minutes that is none of my business. Until it is a few minutes from now and it is my business because then becomes now and... Uh, Sidetrack. Anyway. She kind of... She, like, sets her hands on Psychopomp's shoulders and she looks at him and is like, I'm not gonna let that happen. Okay? You are gonna stick around. Because this kid cares about you and needs you in his life. Even if, right now, it doesn't feel like it. Okay? Okay. I mean, he's been painting my face on furniture and it's a little bit strange. Is that, did you tell him to do that? <laughs> well... You know, he's got this whole make you a deity goal, which, you know, I would be happy to have you as a neighbor. Um, but I suggested, you know, if you want to further that goal, an altar is always nice. It's like, it's not as much work as a temple, because temples you gotta get, like, land and building zoning and ugh, it's a nightmare. I wouldn't trust More anything Gil that. built with his own two hands. And he can't afford <laughs> contractors. <sighs> Mortals and their capitalism. But an altar is just it's a place where what's the term? Anchored? You're anchored there. Like, not anchored as in that's the only place you can exist, because that would be so annoying. But Yeah, like, tell me about it. Oh, yeah. You would know that better than most, huh? Ha! <laughs> yep. Yeah, I'm well familiar with that. I, he, he's literally dragged me around before. <laughs> yeah, my leash seems a little short these days. Although that's probably to do with the whole what what you might call it sickness thing you were talking about. The characterization sickness? Yeah, that. Yeah, that. I mean, I, I wouldn't want to get too far away from him anyway. He's fun to be around, but it just seems a little short these days. Oh. I know what the apartment underneath ours looks like real well now. <laughs> it's better than, we were camp better than when we were camping. I got to see inside of rock. That's <laughs> dull. At least in the apartment, there is someone underneath. At least there's someone underneath, and I... Uh, yeah, yeah, they're a fun bunch. Not that they know I exist, but what else is new? I mean, hey, now you've got me knowing you exist. That is an oddly comforting thought. <laughs> I get that a lot. And she smiles and cracks her knuckles and is like, okay, let's figure this out. So... You've got characterization sick because things have not been great. 
to put it quite plainly, things have been kind of shitty. Yep. Things have been extremely shitty, and we're working on getting them better. Uh, I know for a fact your your buddy is definitely working on getting things better. Or at least, he doesn't realize it, but uh, certain people whose asses he wants to kick, yeah, the world would be better without those people. Anyway, things are going to get better. That's that's the main thing. Um, but, and she kind of tilts her head and flexes her fingers and thinks, and is like, huh. Question, the question of the matter is, hmm, what can we do? 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 And she just, like, sings that under her breath until it, like, stops sounding like a word and she shakes her head and she's like, I am sorry. Uh, I'm a scatterbrain. Um, <laughs> I've got that impression, but, you know, put anything inside my head and it'll just rattle. So, you know, I, I feel you. I, I, I understand your your dilemma. <laughs> uh, it's just like, well, though it's hard to scatter nothing, I guess. Ah. And she brightens immediately and like for a split second her hair goes all shades of like yellow and orange and she looks excited. And then she shakes her head and says, I think I might I'd ha- I think I might have something. Okay. Okay, 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 okay. Okay, 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 okay. So thing. Thing that is a thing is that I'm gonna be blunt with you, Chief. You don't have a lot to you right now. You don't have a whole bunch of power, a whole bunch of uh, you juice. But... Um, no. Well, pumpkins do have juice. Pumpkins do have juice. They do. Um, but this is a different kind of juice. This is like you juice, like brain juice, like. Well, not brain juice. That's another thing that tastes kind of gross. But, um... (laughs) Oh, God, you're worse than me. (laughs) (laughs) I'm doing my best, okay? (laughs) Everyone somehow manages to get this impression that I'm, like, dignified and wise and responsible. And, like, Sammy... Sammy thinks of me as a mom? And I don't know how that happened, but I guess... That's how your statues look. Have you seen your statues? They make you look like this, this, you know, the the very stereotypical goddess, you know, with the the, the big robes and the the noble pose and the sharp weapon and, you know, all that crap. That's how, you know, you've got your, your physical altar things to blame for that. Yeah, and then you, like, meet me in person, and she, like, gestures, and, like, her outfit right now is, she's wearing a crop top and sweatpants. She's in her pajamas. (laughs) Like, she's wearing a crop top and sweatpants patterned with people's voices. She's not exactly cutting a regal figure right now. Mm. And she's like, but, okay. Um, right, so we went from that to from brain juice and brain juice came to me explaining right soul juice you've got like not a lot of power right now my dude you're like running out of batteries Uh but i can give you extra batteries blink blink you can do that i mean yeah i mean not as good as i used to be able to because you know uh very very much uh Eh, not, not what we're talking about right now. Anyway, um, but I can give you extra batteries. I can give you extra, extra juice, and it would be, like, helpful, because, because, like, what you've got a problem with right now with the characterization stick is you haven't got enough space in your you for all that mess. You just got the one thing, right? And without the one thing, you're kind of falling apart. Um... If I give you extra, and she, like, makes flappy hand gestures and is, like, extra, you know, magic stuff, the, 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 the stay alive juice, um, it would add, like, extra space to grow and develop as a character, which would give you, like, 
probably more of an ability to, you know, process everything. And she just kind of looks a little exhausted at the concept of everything, because we have been having a while in the <laughs> Toonkind server. <laughs> Things have been going a little wild. Mm hmm. Um. But it would also help with, like, like if you have more you to go around, that's more you that you can put into stuff like talking to people, especially talking to Gil, and, like, touching stuff, and picking stuff up, and moving things. Like, it would, it would be a little bit of a boost to get you back on your feet, and then from there, like, developmental stuff. Like, you can, you can, you can, you've been, oh, that explains it, and she smacks herself on the forehead, and she's like, ghosts don't develop. You're, 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 you're kind of a ghost. And so, right. Okay. I think I know what to do. Wait here. And then she, like, runs off. And <laughs> so it's just sort of sitting there now, like, wow. That happened. I am alone in a god's room. Oh, boy. Would you like some snacks? There are snacks. <laughs> He doesn't eat. <laughs> I would not think to try. Well, he will look and at it, though. It's like, hmm. How many people was she planning on having here? I mean, I don't eat. Does she eat? Is she going to eat all that? Huh. <laughs> um, and, like, from sort of off in the darkness, you hear, like, very tunish clanging and banging and like a chainsaw <laughs> revving and then there's like a chicken scream and a cat and it's like wait no you're not supposed to be in there get out <laughs> <laughs> she is worse than me <laughs> there's just like very distant like i resent that <laughs> <laughs> that just makes him laugh more. <laughs> this is um, not how I expected my day to be going. Wow. <laughs> and she like she comes out a couple minutes later and says, "Well, I hope you're at least sort of having a good time." I mean, this is t you're the first person apart from Gil I've spoken to in like a hundred years, so you know. It's a bit of a new experience for me. I know I'm not particularly um, eloquent, but uh, now nah, you, you can see why uh, uh, Gail thought you were really fun to talk to. <laughs> and she kind of smiles and says, I do my best, but uh, here. And she like holds something up in one of her hands and it kind of looks like the flame of a candle. It kind of flickers into a heart shape a lot. Um, and it's really glowy. And she's like, you're like a jack-o'-lantern, right? But you haven't got a lights on inside your brain. So, um, yeah, right. I suppose. It's, it's like a candle. Kind of. Except it acts as, you know, booster shot to your soul. So, uh, what, you want me to try and eat it? Nah, just hold still for a sec. Uh, okay. And she reaches over and she pokes you right between the eyes. Me. And, uh, Psychopop, you feel a little lightheaded. <laughs> Lol, that's a pun. Um. <laughs> I was waiting so long to use that goddamn pun. <laughs> <laughs> That's excellent. <laughs> um, he sort of wobbles a little bit. It's like, oh, that's an odd sensation. Um, okay. What? Did, did it work? Uh, well, you, you're glowy now, so that's fun. I am. <laughs> hey, you, you, you light up the room. <laughs> I am a night light. Fantastic. <laughs> how, how, like, do you feel any different? Yeah, a little bit, like, I mean, 
when I get back to him, will he be able to see me? He should be. Should be able to. I mean, that, that is the intent. I mean, you'd probably have to want to be seen, but I don't think that's a question at this point. Yeah, I don't think we're going to have any problems in that department at all. And you reckon I'm going to be able to touch stuff? Yeah, I mean, it'll still take you a little effort, but not as much as it used to, hopefully. Probably? I don't know. I, I've never actually done this before. I just... You know those moments where it's like you just, you get an idea and then you have to do the idea? Oh yeah, and you're not sure where that confidence comes from? Oh yeah, I've, <laughs> I've seen that so many times. It's just like, this is a thing that needs to be. And then you do it and you're like, why did I think that was a good idea? I've never done that before, but that worked out okay. Yeah, no, I, I get you. I, I get you there. Ooh. Yeah, that, that, that's kind of what I tried. Thanks. I yeah. <laughs> um, don't really have anything to pay you back with. I mean, I'm just just a just a little empty pump. Well, I'm not empty anymore, am I? Nope. Well, I mean, apparently I've got pockets okay. now, so you know, maybe I could find some pocket lint. That's the best I could do here. <laughs> How about this? Every once in a while, you got to come hang out with me, okay? Get lonely up here. Well, I know all about being lonely. It sucks to leave someone else like that. Sure. Yeah. But, um... You, you can swing by portal night every once in a while. Not that I know how I got here in the first place. We may have to workshop that a little bit. Yeah, I don't know what happened with that invitation. All else fails, you just send me another one, I guess. We could try that. Yeah, but, like, I don't want you to, you know, be yoinked against your will. You know, that was a little That's disorientating. <laughs> let's, let's not, let's, let's avoid that. <laughs> it's like, oh boy. I, yeah, no, no, wasn't we'll a fan. We'll figure it out. Yeah. We'll yeah. figure it out. I mean, I can, I can show up dark places, so if you ever want to talk to me, you can just, like, try and go somewhere dark like I know you've got kind of uh, kind of a leash on you but if you're somewhere dark like rooms are dark when people are asleep usually yeah often so like if you ever want to talk to me while your person is asleep like you can just call my name and say hi and usually I hear that wow I could give it a try <laughs> sure yeah <laughs> yeah, yeah, let, let, let's give that a go. <laughs> and I'm gonna roll insight on the pumpkin. Does mm -hmm. someone know if he's okay? That's a 51. <laughs> what do I learn with a 51? <laughs> we see everything. Um, he's still a little bit rattled. Um, but primarily he's a bit awkward and hopeful. Like, he's holding onto the spider's thread of hope that this is going to work really, really tightly. Well, I mean... Hey, Hart, uh, let me just dip into the peanut gallery real fast. Hart, are you up for doing an epilogue scene? <laughs> It's funny you should say that. I actually lined hot up already. <laughs> and, like, we can. Okay, so as we transition into a bit of an epilogue scene, she's like, well, why don't you. Why don't you head back? Um. And we can we can like watch we can watch a cool adventure next time. Um, oh yeah, if it's, if it's just you know around the 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 what do you call them? mortals <laughs> that uh, we hang out with, we got some cool stuff to watch with Gil's done. Gosh, so much shenanigans is fantastic. Excellent. 
<laughs> Heaven knows Sammy gets into a mess every fucking time he steps out the door. But, yeah, uh, hang on. And she, like, pokes the screen, and it kind of goes all ripply, and she's like, okay, that should take you back. Space magic, not my thing. Wait, actually, hang on. Second! Second! Second, get in here for a sec. And she, like, shouts out, and she's like, <sighs> that kid never listens to me. Um, and there's sort of a pop, and there's somebody else standing there, uh, and it's the second star, and he's like, Frizz, I can hear you, what do you need? Oh, hey, hey, uh, can you do me a favor? Uh, need door for friend here, uh, to go back to his buddy. Please? Psycho pumped yourself as a little, little sheepish wave. <laughs> Oh, yo, you're that kid that, that uh, Prue said she was going to invite over to movie night. Yeah. Nice to meet you. I am so unaccustomed to being called kid. Wow. Uh, no offense, but you're a baby compared to the rest of us. No, I get I, I, I get it. I, I understand. Hundred years or whatever is nothing for you lot, but like, it seems like a long time for me. Oh, yeah, no, it's, it's nothing to sneeze at, but, like, bro, come on. Nah, nah. Uh, but, right, door, anchored on, person, who are we looking for? Gil, his name's Gil. Gil, uh, which Gil? There's, like, 500 Gils in the world. Um, Gil Treble? He's purple? And... Ah, that kid. He's fun. Uh, hang on. He is fun. And second like opens up his coat a little bit and like rifles through a bunch of keys that are sort of like hooked into the inside of his coat and he's like no no that one's uh oh no don't want that one uh, that one goes to my ex's house Ugh, <laughs> uh, where is it <laughs> and he like pulls out a blank silver key and like taps it against his hand flips it and's like okay that should do it uh, twist the key in the air. Um, and there is now a doorway in front of you. And he's like, well, oh, that should last for a couple seconds. Uh, see ya, pumpkin dude. Oh, seconds. Okay, uh, yeah, okay. I guess that means I'm going now. Okay, bye. Thanks uh, for the lift. Is this, this count as a lift? I can... Uh, seconds is not very long. Okay, bye. <laughs> <laughs> and you are yoinked. Back into reality. <laughs> And <laughs> from whatever the hell that fever dream was. <laughs> from that fever dream. And um, he pops back out in Gil's bedroom. And it's dark. And Gil is in bed. <sighs> And Psychopomp sort of just sort of blinks and looks around like, oh. And then notices that Gil's there. It's like, hey, Gil, are you awake? No, oh, I'm not awake. I'm asleep. Okay. Wait. Gil uh, slowly sits up and opens his eyes. Psychopomp? Psychopomp hesitates for a second and then drifts over <laughs> to Gil and uh give me a dex save. I'm gonna do that at disadvantage. <laughs> That's fair. Cause Gil is Gil is half awake. <laughs> I like rolling two dice. Ah, <laughs> <laughs> uh, yes. That is a four plus six and a nine plus six. So that's a ten. Cool. Um, there is a bit of silence, and then you are suddenly being hugged by something about probably no bigger than Bob, and <gasps> you're being squeezed a little. And then a little bit more. Uh, and then a little bit more. 
<laughs> Psychopomp is. Gil reaches up and tries to hug whatever is hugging him back. <laughs> it feels rather like sackcloth, to be quite honest. And um, you hear this murmured little. Hi, buddy. Sorry, I didn't mean to wake you, but I really wanted to tell you. Hi, I'm here. You're not mad at me. I was never mad at you, you nitwit. Why would I be mad at you? Oh my, dang it! Ah! And he's I just know, squeezing a little harder. <laughs> oh, mm, this hurts. Oh, I'm sorry, 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 sorry. And he jumps back. I. Apparently have strength. <laughs> I bow. Try to make you worry. Um, I would. I need a uh, psychopomp to make a dex save now. <laughs> what is his dex save? Okay. Fifteen. Let me see how well this goes. <laughs> it's a nine. Actually, you know what? Plus I'm nine. I'm gonna I'm gonna do it size at disadvantage because. <laughs> oh, okay. No, it's still. A <laughs> uh. So Gil uh, darts forward and tries very hard to shock Psychopump and. Hey, why would you move? <laughs> I'm not. Used to people coming at me. <laughs> oh, sorry, y'all. Mm, get over here. And he's just gonna float back over, sort of make sure Gil's alright, patting him down. It's like. <laughs> yeah. As soon as Psychopomp gets close, Gil again tries to hug Psychopomp. Psycho he's going not going to resist at all. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, you know what? This this is nice. This is really nice. <laughs> what do I feel like, Gil? I'm right here. I've always been right here. You know that. I was afraid you were mad at me talking to me. Oh, dang it. I'm sorry I was... Uh... Sick, apparently. I was still here. I'm a little sick, too. <laughs> oh, man, I made you cry now. That's... Aw, oh, Gil. I'm sorry, man. I'm so sorry. <laughs> I'm not, but I wasn't mad at you. I promise I wasn't mad at you. Gil just kind of buries his uh, face into a uh, psychopomp. <laughs> <laughs> There's this long moment, and then psychopomp speaks up again. It's like, what do I feel like? What do you feel like? Um, yeah. <laughs> Kind of rough. <laughs> kind of like those heavy curtains we found in the in the attic. Oh, you mean the brown ones? No, no, the, the black ones. Oh, those. <laughs> yeah. Weird. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I've never had texture before. This is so odd. <laughs> what happened? Um... I got a new battery? <laughs> what? what? That's what she call it. Hmm. I made a friend. Good. <laughs> Dang it, Gil. You're all... You're all messed up. Come here. And he's just sort of starting to 
like pull Gil's hair out of his face and it's like just sort of patting it down. It's like, <laughs> how do you get into such a mess when you're just asleep? Dang. Oh, man. That was bad today. <laughs> Ow. Ow. Hurts. And he, uh, he presses against his chest. It hurts. <laughs> Ow. That kind of bad. Not the fun kind. No. <laughs> you only said it once. Girl, you're a nitwit. Stop saying that. <laughs> if you know what does it, stop it. And she's gonna catch Gil in another hug. What, 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 do I, what do I have to do to remind you of stuff? That's what they did, right? That's how it mm-hmm. works? Mm-hmm. Do you... Okay, let's go all the way back. Why not? Let's have some fun. Do you remember... <laughs> do you remember when we met? The very yeah. first time. <laughs> How could I forget? <laughs> I popped up over the TV just as the credits were rolling and you fell backwards. You were so scared to see me. I think you scared me just as much as I scared you because I didn't think you would see me in the first place. If I, if I, <laughs> you almost scared me to death. <laughs> I had such a weak little heart back then. Uh, you've grown so much. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, buddy, that was that was funny. Oh, <laughs> I got you so many times since then. Now. Oh yeah, of course. Ah, oh, the first time that I found out you were afraid of cats. What a day <laughs> that was! Do you remember how badly the window broke? Oh, that was funny. <laughs> Wonderful. I think they were wondering why uh, <laughs> several windows broke. <laughs> yeah, that was great. That was fantastic, Gil. Oh, boy. I couldn't tell them. <laughs> no. They wouldn't no. believe me. <laughs> no, the ghost in the attic turned into a cat. Yeah, that, that would go down well. <laughs> Oh, though, yeah, I did get you into trouble a fair bit down, didn't I? Yeah. That's my middle name, though. <laughs> yeah, it is. <laughs> Why didn't have you any other way, pal? You can give him a bit of a squeeze and then let go a bit. Gil's gonna squeeze back, and he's not going to let go. <laughs> it's not let go, let go, no. but just sort of relax a little bit. And um, mm-hmm. Psychopomp's a bit bigger than he was when he first showed up. How are you feeling mm-hmm. now? Better. Good. Good. <sighs> God, I'm Hope s- I didn't- still a bit worried I wouldn't work. <laughs> Dang, I wish I could just not let go of you forever. This is so nice not falling through you, bud. <laughs> oh, uh. I don't really want to let go right now. Do I have to? Mm, no. No, I don't think so. You got nowhere to be. Alright? <laughs> Here, hold on. Hold on. I have a thought. They happen occasionally, but I have a thought here. And and he's just going to sort of shift his... Well, he doesn't really have weight, but sort of do that whole shift his weight fling sort of thing and pull them both, poof, down so Gil's head's back on the pillow in the bed. (laughs) Okay. I am a pumpkin teddy bear. (laughs) (laughs) Gil yeah. just kind of closes his eyes and snuggles <laughs> against <laughs> Psychopomp. And uh, Psychopomp's just, just just pleased as anything. And he's just sort of lying there next to Gil, holding on just 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 underneath uncomfortably tight. I'm sorry I made you worry, buddy. 
Brought her back. Glad you weren't. I'm not gonna let it. I'm not gonna let it happen again. You're all I got, you know. <laughs> I'm gonna change that. I don't care how many friends I got. You're, you're better than them. <laughs> you're my family, Gil. I'm not gonna hesitate to say it, you know. I'm nothing my without your buddy. Family. First best friend. Same. What time is it? Oh my god, you're exhausted looking. Go to sleep. <laughs> now, I am uh, can't promise I'll still be solid in the morning, but you bet your butt I'll still be here. Okay? Mm -hmm. Good. Night, Gil. All right, so I love you. Love you too, buddy. And uh, I think that's where it fades to black. Yep. And uh, as we fade to black, there is a bit of a flicker of color in the blackness as someone somewhere is very proud of herself. <laughs> Oh, and that dear. is where we end our FPS. Uh, sorry if we made you cry. Thank you, everybody, for coming to Mortal Night. <laughs> Maybe they'll actually get to watch a movie next time. Yeah, we didn't get to watch a movie. We're going to watch a movie next time, because there's going to be a next time. Anyway, everybody say goodbye to our listeners. Goodbye, listeners. Bye.